So today's video, I'm just going through five of my most carried knives over the past couple months, actually. So starting it off, it's technically not this. It's technically the Civivi Cubit. That's the first one. Now, I was carrying this one a lot because, you know, it was just lightweight. It was easy to carry. Um... I was carrying this as soon as it dropped, and I basically had it in my pocket pretty much up until a certain point, and we're going to show another knife. Uh, the Wii Cubit recently came out, so obviously this one doesn't, uh, you know, compare to the amount of time I've carried this one. I did do the edge retention test and the video testing and comparing these two, if you want to go and see that. But all in all, you know, you can see from that, that video, like the results and everything, I don't really need to go through all of that with this one, but I have really enjoyed them like i said this the civivi is so lightweight and so slicey so thin um the lockups rock solid uh, at least on mine it is the the blade shape and geometry it just it's such a beneficial knife to have on you and you know like i said so lightweight you could just you carry it and not even know it's there the wii versions you know a little bit heavier but still you know still lightweight in my opinion Obviously, there's going to be some, some major differences between the two. So, I've recently started carrying my Benjamin Griptilian a, a quite a bit lately. So, this is a knife that, like, I've carried. This is an old knife. Like, I've had this knife for years. Actually, <laughs> there's a video of when I purchased it. Um, we went to Colorado. We actually filmed a video out there at a knife store. And... That's when I bought this. That was years ago. It's a great knife. Uh, mine is still solid, um, super smooth. Um, I do have aftermarket scales on there, but it's just a knife that, you know, like the name says, you know, it is very grippy. Um, it, it, it's very comfortable in the hand. This is one of my fav favorite blade shapes. Yeah, it's robust and thick, but, you know, it still slices really good with a low edge angle. And it has served me very well, and every once in a while I come back to it, I pull it out and carry it again. The S30V Steel, mine has been great. I personally like S30V. I actually like S30V more than even S35VN. Um, I, I My favorite is from Spyderco, but I don't think Benchmade does a bad job with it. I know there was some complaints about it, you know, um, early on, but, you know, mine, uh, mine's been rocking pretty damn hard. <clears throat> Next, the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio XL. Now, I haven't even had this that long, but I have carried and used the, the hell out of this thing. One thing I was wanting to do was test the Elmex Steel. And how can I say this? So I sharpened it up. So first of all, I used the factory edge. Sorry, I, I used the factory edge and there was a lot of micro chipping. So because of the micro chipping, I didn't hold it against the steel or the heat treat or anything. I just figured it was a burnt edge. Resharpened it. And since I've sharpened it, there's no micro chipping. I, maybe, maybe one little spot right there, but, but it's been only one sharpening. However, the edge did last like I don't even know, like probably five times longer at this point. Maybe not quite that, like at least three times longer because I did one big load of cutting and the, the edge was super dull. There was lots of micro chipping. Sharpened it up, did the same amount of cutting and it was still good to go. So, uh, you know, it lost some bite and stuff like that, but just needed a little stropping. Since then, it has went completely dull. Used the hell out of it. It did hold a good edge. However, it did not hold the bite quite like I would have wanted. It's only been one edge. Um, I did hone it back and it kept, and it did hone back a couple times. No problems with that. I wound up um, putting it on a ceramic rod and hitting it back up and the bite came right back. So obviously, cause it's kind of like adding a micro bevel. So all in all, I've been happy with it. I haven't been upset at it. I do think after another sharpening or two, even a uh, better, um, the, the better part of the steel will come out, you know, as far as the heat treatment and everything. I think it just had a burnt edge, so it needs a couple sharpenings. But all in all, love the knife. Very comfortable. Love the action. Um, I love this micarta. Giant Mouse is micarta, some of the best, in my opinion. This is green micarta. Uh, the, I, I like pretty much everything about this knife, you know, from the action to the blade shape, the geometry, and, you know, the steel is pretty good. You know, hopefully it only gets better after some more sharpening. Next one is 
probably, man, I want to say it's my most carried. <laughs> I want to say it's my most carried, uh, but it's tough because the next one is right there with it. So this is the Spyderco Manix 2 Rex 45 GP Knives exclusive. This knife, man, I, I've got multiple of them. I've carried uh, the hell out of them. I've sharpened them up. You can you can see I've sharpened it up. It's got a mirror polished edge on there, which it has held. I've put in, I've put in two edges on this thing, I think, at this point. But either way, um, it is you know it's just been holding because I did a lot of cutting with it. Like um, the amount of cutting that it took and continued to hone back was just insane. And I can't remember. Maybe I only sharpened it one time and it's still kicking. <laughs> I can, I'm trying to remember now. Uh, but either way, this thing has just been holding on to it. Every time it starts getting slippery, um, I just touch it up on the stone a couple passes and it just comes back nasty nasty and i'm absolutely loving rex 45 um i know there is some other exclusives that recently dropped one being from blade hq with m4 um with dlc coating by the way too um that's that's awesome um anyways the Manix 2 Rex 45, uh, I can't get this thing out of the pocket. It's just such an easy grab for me. It's so lightweight. I'm still waiting for the original goat scales, but it's so lightweight. Like, I, I you know, don't even realize I have a knife on me yet. I have a very strong locking, solid, amazing size, amazing geometry, amazing heat treatment knife. And those things at this point really stand out to me. Um, not maybe necessarily the lightweightness, unless if I'm looking for a lightweight knife, but you know, the geometry, the heat treatment, all those things really, really stand out to me. You know, after testing so many knives, you know, you, you, that's when you really, really start appreciating some of those things, um, about the steels, you know, especially when you're using them a lot. Anyways, the most carried knife has been the Wee Nefaris. However, I do think that this one I might have carried a little bit more. It's hard, it's hard for me to know, you know, honestly, but both of these have been carried a lot. I carried this one right off the bat like a ton. It's been sharpened. Um, only one sharpening. It did hold on to its factory edge pretty well. I was actually impressed with its factory edge. I, um... I did not take it to a, no, I did not take it to a mirror polish. I took it to about 600 grit. Uh, just because I, while I've had pretty good results from Wee Knife Co's polished edges on their 20 CV, at least not bad, it's, it, it definitely can, in a lot of cases, lose its bite a little bit quicker. And I didn't want to get a bad opinion of it by putting a polished edge on it and then it may be getting slick on the first edge. I figure I'll put a medium grit edge on there, see how that does, and then in the future put a polished edge on there if I want. Um, the edge has been holding up really well. Like I said, it, it hones and strops back really good. Um, the action's amazing. And this is one of my favorite Wii knives. This is one of my favorite knives of the year. Um, and I think... Uh, I think a lot of people w would agree with that if, if they tried it. Um, and by the way, these are available right now. I'm not sure what colors and everything else that's left because they are going quick. But check it out if you want to. I will link them down in the description. Uh, there's a couple places that have them. So I'll link a couple different places if you want to check them out. The Wee Nefaris. An absolute badass knife. Titanium frame lock, 20 CV, multiple deployments, phenomenal action, good geometry. Um, and, you know, it's it, it's a good looking knife, at least to me. You know, maybe not to everybody, but to me, it's definitely a good looking knife. All in all. Between the five knives, so we have an Italian knife, a USA-made knife, 
And then two Chinese made knives. Well, both from the same company, Civivi, and then we, you know. Um, wait, that's four. One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth one? Oh, no. Oh, right here. <laughs> and we have another USA made knife. So, out of these knives, out of these five knives, which one do I like the most? <sighs> See, that's tough. I feel like the value, or or let me say this, the materials is better on the Nefaris considering it's a titanium frame lock, titanium apocalypse backspacer, titanium hardware, and 20 CV. Spyderco has the best heat treatment. Hands down, not even a comparison. Like just absolutely best heat treatment. And is, in my opinion, the best steel out of the bunch here. Uh, not that I don't like all these steels because I do. 14C28N, S30V. Rex 45, LMAX, and 20 CV. So, the most ergonomic is going to be the Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, the, the Giant Mouse has a nice balance between it, and that's something I really, really love. Um, it's my favorite Giant Mouse at the moment because not only is it very ergonomic, like super ergonomic, way better than the original. The action's amazing. The detent is perfectly well-tuned. You know, it feels like a high-quality knife, which I appreciate from... Oh, from any company, you know, especially Giant Mouse. So, all in all, my absolute favorite out of all of these would probably be the Manix. Um, it, it's a tough choice, it really is, but this Manix, in my opinion, like, I just, I can't find a situation, or at least I can't think of a situation where this doesn't just serve me the best. Right. If I was going to think of what knife should I grab out of all of these and which one's going to serve me the best, it would be this one. There'd like no doubt about it. You know, with this locking mechanism, with how strong it is for how light it is, the edge retention, the way it takes an edge and the type of edge it takes, which is so important to me, you know. So, but if I was going to put them in order, I'd probably go first, second, third fourth and fifth and i obviously the price has a lot to do with this this is you know um a very budget knife but one of my all-time favorite budget knives right now as we speak especially from civivi like if you start adding in all kinds of other companies yeah there's a lot of heavy competition like there's stuff from kaiser that is just absolutely amazing like the escort the the drop bear but you know just right off the top of my head i'd probably change my mind and reverse these around if you ask me an hour later from now but i'm going to stick with what i said because you know i just i feel like that that's what my gut wanted to do so there you go that's the order spider coat nefarious giant mouse um griptilian and then the cubit those of you curious of how i could pick the biblio over the griptilian i personally would pick the griptilian if i had to only choose one and if i was was looking for something i wanted to be tougher on i would 100 percent pick the griptilian uh because this one just geometry is nice and tough and, and you know it, it's it's a tough knife however if you look at the two knives they are kind of similar. They're both sheep's foot blades, except for this one is much slicier with better blade geometry, thinner behind the edge, and all that good stuff. Both of them are very ergonomic. The Griptilian is arguably better in the ergonomics department, but they're both extremely, extremely good. This one has multiple deployments. Um, while I love the Griptilian's action, like a lot, and I love the Griptilian, like I said, I would pick the Griptilian over this if I can only choose one knife. However, right now, just at this moment, I'm liking the Biblio a little bit more for the reasons I mentioned. You know, LMAX is arguably um, a little bit better. You know, that's debatable, though. But the geometry is definitely better. So, you know, it just right now for the things I'm, I'm using a knife for, this one does happen to just function a little bit better. But this is the one I would pick overall just because, you know, it is a little bit tougher. It's definitely one you can be a little bit tougher on. This is a tip you can pick with and, and do maybe light-duty prying with. Um, so, yeah. It, it hurts me to do this because the last place, I love this knife so much, you know, and, but I love all these as well. So, and obviously the price difference. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.